heart comprised of various structures. We, we know that um, it has a set of muscles, it has valves to ensure that the blood flows in, a, in one direction so that the heart pumps in a very efficient manner. And on the outer surface of the heart, there is the arteries, there are the veins. But within the muscles of the heart, there, is, there are electrical fibers or conducting system of the heart. And uh, this system serves to tell the heart or remind the heart to beat and contract in a synchronous manner so that blood flows in one direction from the upper chambers to the lower chambers and to the rest of the heart. So uh, there, will be, there will be patients with disease involving the conducting systems of the heart and as such they are not able to tell the heart to beat perhaps in a synchronous manner and it is in these patients that perhaps a pacemaker might be needed. Pacemaker is a, a device just about the size of your watch. It's placed under either chest region. It serves uh, two functions. It replaces your natural pacemaker if it fails to work. So what it does is it sees what the heart does. If the heart fails to beat after a certain time, this pacemaker will send an electrical impulse to your heart and reminds your heart to contract. It also restores the connection between the upper chamber and the lower chamber and tells these chambers to beat or contract in a continuous sequential manner. Uh, yes and, and no. Of course, if one leads a healthy lifestyle and prevents a heart attack, he would be at a, at a lower risk of needing a pacemaker. However, if they do get a heart attack, as mentioned previously, a heart attack may impair the function of the natural pacemaker, it may impair the function of the electrical bridge between the upper and lower chambers. And if that happens, the patient has a higher chance of needing a pacemaker.